Hello lads, this is Whisker Squadron, a roguelike procedurally generated flying game by the same people who brought us Race the Sun. Now, this is gameplay from the free demo on Steam in advance of the full game coming out later in 2021. Chucks away lads! So yes, it's Star Fox with cats and a little bit of FTL thrown in. And I really do like this. Um, it is a game that I think feels better to play than it does to look at. Um, so do go download this demo, uh, but obviously only once you watch this video. And click on every single advert. Twice! <laughs> As you know. But <laughs> anyway, so let's actually get killing things. Let's shut that out of the air. Ideally I want to collect- oh bloody hell, home missile. Ideally I want to collect the yellow diamonds, and if I go through the circles, yes my multiply goes up. Which I will lose if I get hit by anything or collide with something, or whatever. So the manoeuvrability, I mean, at the moment we're reasonably slow, but if you do this, you can get around a lot nippier. And you can also do a little cool little barrel roll and then hit a tree. Because you're trying to show off too much. <laughs> actually, there's a lot of things we need to actually get killing. Oh, here we go, that's more like it. You need to be got, there we go. And so even this demo version does actually show off quite a few different types of environments. Uh, there's also, like, um, bosses and... Uh, the, the FTL style choice map that we talked about, uh, which you can also just have like events sometimes rather than just actual levels. Ooh, careful! Ooh, ooh, God! Those catats are really annoying. I'm not sure that's their official name, but frankly, it's hilarious. But calling them catats. Still more more hostile bots ahead. Yes, so that's the end of the first sub-region. We'll, we'll basically continue as we've been doing on the same environment. And then we'll fight a boss, and then we'll move on to the next one. We'll get the choice. There we go. Multiply back up to two. Marvellous. Another turret, which I did not shoot down. So I guess it's all about keeping on the move, this. As per usual in these sorts of games. But yeah, this is, um, this is only... St oh my god. Ah! This is only standard difficulty. There's there's two harder modes if you're feeling particularly um, up for a challenge. I've hardly got any yellow diamonds recently. There we go. That was a nice easy bit, thankfully. So you've got to... It's sometimes quite hard to judge. Ow! Um, partially where your shots are going to go, but also... Sometimes the collision feels just a little bit so like me. Well, you can't see quite how... Uh, the bolt comes towards the screen and hits you! Well, okay, I think that's more of a case of getting used to things. I'm also not hitting anything out of the sky, though, which is terrifying scenes. Dicks, I just hit the ground. <laughs> Supply! Missed it. Anyway, so I've got one... Um, I've collected, in all that, I've collected one purple orb, which is homing missiles. Which I haven't had a chance to use yet, because I've been in chaos, frankly. But we'll use those at some point. I can't use them at the moment because there's nothing to lock on to. Uh, this particular character that I've chosen to play, let's say it has, has homing missiles. The other character you can choose uh, has a, like a force push shieldy type thing. So all we have to do here is shoot, shoot down the arms and occasionally avoid the homing missile. Now this isn't the only boss you can get. Um, there's actually some, it's like what feels like so far to me, a rare one, uh, which I didn't know how to deal with and got killed. <laughs> but, ooh, ugh. This one I've played quite a few times now. Just a case of going for the arms. Like that. And you'll knock a third of its health off when you do that. So it does get easier as you go. In this case, but you've got to be, still got to be careful of the the prickish homing missiles that it does. I say homing missiles, not really homing missiles as such. Ooh! You got me! Oh! Also, yeah, those things do carry on shooting when they're circulating, so... They can get you with a cheeky little hit there. But anyway, we've done it! And we've completed level one, but that's not where the demo finishes. We continue onwards, and I get a D, and not for the first time. Uh, but I always seem to get the D. Anyway, now we get a choice of either going to... Oh, in this case, <laughs> we've got a choice of two identical levels. Uh, there's enemy carriers, I think there's asteroid fields, and there's also special events, and a, possibly another thing as well. But let's choose... Well, let's choose this one because it'll give us more of a choice um, in, the, in the level after that, if we actually su survive. Um, I've never even played the Asteroid Fields, but I think you might be able to see footage of that on the Steam page or whatever. This is one where you get swallowed by a big gob. A big space gob. And then you have to um, dodge lasers. This is more about, like, tight turns and things like that. Although it's not hugely difficult. It's not quite as difficult as you might think. You don't have to go completely mad. You can, you probably don't even need to roll at all in this. Having, having said that, though, <laughs> I'll probably now um, completely prove that completely wrong. 
I think it's more about keeping keeping your head in this. There aren't that many enemies in this particular level. You'll see the occasional turret and that's pretty much it. It's also about it's like looking ahead and seeing exactly where the, the rate lasers are going to be. And just because this is random. Oh, no, this, this is probably more of a time where we will need to. Oh, here we go. There's a, oh, it's a homing missile as well, which I completely ignored because it was miles away. Now, we actually have got a couple of uh, homing missile charges, but this is not really the level to use those. We won't be doing any shooting really much at all. Oh, careful. That was tempting me somewhat. My modus multiplier is currently at full level anyway, so I don't really care. Careful. Yeah, you can easy, you can probably clear this, let's say, with just without shooting at all. Oh, careful. Without shooting at all. I'm going to get for that ring because it's right there. Although, having said that, that could have been tricky. Ooh! Right, that was a bit more vicious. So I don't know what this, if this level, um, how much more difficult this would be on, like, uh, the higher difficulty. Oh, crap. That was a bit of a tighter squeeze than I'd like. Also that. So yeah, it changes things up quite nicely. And there's the moon. Let's get out all before they have a chance to chase us. Possibly to the moon. Do, do, do. Oh, C+. Plus. Holy shit, I'm... That's some... <laughs> that's a passing grade. Holy shit. Anyway, now we have a choice of... Oh, it's an upgrade station. It's not an asteroid field. I tell a lie. Ah. Okay, so we've got... So let's go for a special event. Actually, no, let's, let's not. Let's go for the um, upgrade station, because I've never done that before, either. Right, so... Oh, this is what you spend the yellow stuff on. Let's get you fixed up, says the fat cat. I could do with um, my shields replenishing here. Well, having said that, it's tempting. It is tempting to get these twin lasers. Yeah, let's get the lasers. That's an ideal. Right, so we go to Musonia. This densely populated city planet was the former headquarters of Dog Robotics. Right, so we're now um, down onto a planet. We're heading to the, into the main city of Musonia. Stay frisky! This city was hectic even before the dog bots. It was a little rough. Oh, something. Oh, some other hilarious joke. Now, oh, oh, this is already okay. Now I'm not used to this level. I've never done this one before. So this is oof fleck, which is a new word. Did I get hit repeatedly there? Hmm. Not 100 percent sure. Right, oh, oh. no, that's me using my homing missiles. It didn't really, didn't really help hugely, but at least I managed to replenish them. In fact, I'm going to do that again. I managed to get one target there only. God, bridges. So things are getting a bit tighter now. Ow! Less than ideal. Ow! Less, double less than ideal. Ow! Hmm. Shocking. Shocking bad. Shocking bads. Anyway, got the multiplier. Ooh! Right, okay, did I get the purple thing? I think I did. Sometimes it's hard to tell until you actually look in the bottom left to see whether you actually got the purple thing. Jeez, I hate cities. It was your choice to come here. Nah, -uh, the bots made the decision to attack. I chose to defend. And that. Oh, there's a there's already an enemy. Already got it. Bonus. Oh, look, it's a... Sp Ooh! <laughs> Shit. <sighs> I panicked because I saw car diamonds. And then I just didn't do anything to avoid the bridge. I'm actually struggling now, I think. Well, I should have... I sh was I... No, I wasn't getting hurt there. I thought I was. Right, anyway, never mind about that. You can actually shoot down some of the obstacles. Like the, the purple... The, the red the red walls were actually destructible, I think. I need to actually get lower down, don't I? I really... Yeah, I should have got the shield replenishment, but... I just wanted to see the twin lasers. Okay, that was me, just running into a wall. Oh, that was dangerous. Okay, let's get off of it. Right. There we go. Nice little homing missile action. And again. Ah, uh, there we go. That's more like it. It's starting to get more exhilarating now. Especially since I've got down to six health. Which <laughs> seems to be stuck on low health forever. Very much like the um, uh, the Dead Cell stream. If anyone's... <laughs> if anyone saw that. Sensors indicate it's just ahead. Get ready, team. Right. Good. Six health. Six out of 128. What can possibly go wrong? This might be quite a short um, fight. And not in a good way. Oop! 
Bowser. Get gone. There we go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I'm not sure if I can collide with the ground or not. I don't really want to find out, to be quite honest. Ooh, piss. I don't think I can use homing missiles on this lad. I don't think. Oof. No, yeah, I just got bombarded with three things, although it, the, the screen went blank just before I got actually hit by them, which is slightly, um, slightly anticlimactic, but not too bad, not too bad at all. I actually managed to survive a decent amount of time on that one. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to see. Some, it, gets, it starts off fairly slow, but you really do need the practice, I think, to start with, actually hitting things. Uh, but then it gets really exhilarating as, you, go, as you, you pull off the tightest possible turns in the last second. It's really quite breathtaking. Uh, I, I used to like playing Race of Sun, um, that, with the equally preceded generated um, years ago now. A, a splendid little game now. Anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, do subscribe to Randomized User to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games around. Something's still shooting at me. <laughs> Stop!